This video is brought to you in part by SecondChanceGaming.com. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, so if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then definitely check out their site linked in the description. I'm a big fan of how they do business, so check them out and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and this video is going to be another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video playing with the Mermel Link deck yet again. I still haven't clocked a lot of time with this deck, uh, so I'm still not super familiar on what all these combos, like, specifically do. Um, especially, like, one like this. Like, holy shit. Um, uh, let's see, I'm pretty sure it involves me one-for-one one discarding the Aqua Spirit. Um, uh, because keeping the Neptibus in hand is going to be more value there. Um, uh, awesome. No Ash Blossom. Great. Alright. So we'll summon this. I'll use its effect. I think this one isn't necessarily too extensive of a combo. Because if I'm right, I'm just going to add Dragoons to my hand. And I'm going to... Um, may... No, I have to go extensive. Otherwise, there's, like, no point. Um, but let's see. If I make, um... If I added D.Va here, um, I would not be able to drop Mulan. So I need to add... I need to add Megalo. Because if I had Megalo discarding Neptibus and this... Yeah. Okay. This should, this should add up. I think this math works. I don't know, this hand isn't too optimal. I have too many hand traps in it. Haha, <laughs> thank you, smart helper. Just going ahead and discarding the cards that I didn't want. Um, let's see. This is... There's these two engraved, so I'll activate Dragoons, and then I'll activate Neptibus. Um, and that will bring back the one Dragoons engrave. And then I'll activate Megalo's effect, and Megalo will search for the Sphere. Um, the Atlantean Dragoons will be summoned here. Yes. And then I've got one, two, three waters engrave. So if I add Mulan and then make um Miss Starboy with these two, or one of or these two essentially, then I'll be able to drop Mulan Glace and have Sphere. Wow. It's not really what I was looking forward to. Not really what I was looking for in terms of a play. But I'll take it. Um, I mean, like, it's still a Mulan play, so, I mean, that's, that's fucking good. And this puts resources back in my hand if it dies, so that is also good. Um, so I'll get rid of these. They're the ones doing the least. Uh, and then I can special summon this. Ha! So I'll special summon it. Use its effect, take two cards out of my opponent's hand. Ah! He's playing Pendulum Magicians. This could be a problem. Uh, it depends. Depends on if this, uh... Depends on if this, uh, this Ash goes the distance or not. Because if it does, then we get in there. But otherwise, nah. Uh, but so that hand would have been infinitely better with either a Megalo and definitely a Teus. Um, that is the problem, though, is that, like, you end up with these. Like, the hand traps that you have to play to, like, go second against Spiral and shit. And, uh, you just end up with all this stuff that you can't really work with. But I did discard two cards out of his hand, which is great. Against Pendulums, they really need every card that they can get access into. And so that works very well for me. And he has the deal with the Mulan Glacia. Um, if he outs the Mulan Glace, then it's going to be something that... Um, well, let's see. Ooh! If he gets greedy and he plays Iris in his other scale, this is he's going to try and Wisdom Eye, and I'm just going to Ash Blossom it. Or he's going to try and Wavering Eyes, I'm just going to Ash Blossom it. So now you're stuck with your scales, big boy! You are stuck with those. I hope this isn't another wavering eyes. Ha <laughs> ha! All right. Okay. Got him. Get got. Get got. Get good. That's a gun. Oh, that's a really good card. Um, that's a really good fucking card. Let's see. I could go ahead and abyss sphere. I could abyss sphere for Pike. Um, discard and uh, bring back like uh nothing because there's no mermaids in my grave. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, is this game? This is 19 plus 29 plus 33. This is, uh, that is 29 plus this, that is 42, 62, uh, 72, 81. If it does, if it all goes through, then that's that. Um, but I'm gonna save the sphere because the sphere can be the exact play that I just described of, like, if he uses, like, if this trap is time pendulum graph, which it is, um, uh, he gets to pop this. And he's popping what? What did he? Oh, he, he chose my Mulan Glace. Okay, that's fine. Um, 
I am going to ash that. Question mark. It doesn't really do anything. So, yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, it, like, just adding that doesn't do anything here. Uh, but so I can attack for 19. I can attack for 24. And I don't have any mermails engraved, so I can't do the gunned play. But he's at 32. If I played, uh, if I played lead, it would be exact game. However, what I can do is I can go sphere into, um, into Megalo. Right. The Megalo can attack, putting him at, uh, putting him at 500, or no, that'd be 300. And then I can just make flare metal. And then my opponent literally has, um, no out. So, this, this works very well in my favor. Hell yeah, Flare Metal, the only rank 7 I play besides Tomahawk because it's specifically meant to win the game. So that's what we'll go with. So now he can't even activate one effect or else he burns himself for death. Uh, this uh, can't be destroyed by card effects, so he can't time Pendulum Graph me. Like, this, is, this is great. Yeah, Battle Phase. What you gonna do, big boy? What you gonna do, big boy? Kill yourself? Is that what's happening? Is that really what's happening? Yeah, he is. Okay. He's he's just killing himself. Alright, so, side decking time. Um, my opponent is definitely going to be going first. He's playing a pendulum deck. Um, so, we'll put in that. We will take out... I don't even think I care about what I'm putting in at this point. Which is an odd occurrence if you do catch my drift. I think I take out the sphere. Um... And in which case I take out the Lind as well. And I put in the Gamma Seal. Z, the Gamma Seals. Z, plural. Uh, take out an Ash Blossom because I doubt he would leave Wavering Eyes in against me. Unless he sucks. In which case I might want to leave the Triple Ash Blossom in. Because some players actually just believe that Wavering Eyes is the nuts in Magician. But it's actually just not. And you get Ash Blossomed and you lose. Um take out this, we'll put in the other kaiju, and then I'll just pass my turn with that, or pass my side decking stage. I think I'm going to blur that one out too. Blur out the deck list for the Mermel deck, just to make you guys wonder. I might let you know what's in the side deck though. That might be the only thing. Because <laughs> you guys should be able to figure this shit out. I mean, hell, you should be able to figure it out. There, there, I, I see no reason why you wouldn't be able to figure it out. Uh, but that was actually pretty alright. That Mulan Glace was actually really important. Because it hit a Purple Poison and it hit an Avion. Um, I didn't get to do too much. But, that's whatever. Well, I have no idea what's going on at this point now. But it seems like my opponent just refuses to play Yu-Gi-Oh. He's probably, like, it hasn't given me a disconnect screen. It hasn't given me anything. Yu-Gi-Oh Pro isn't not responding. Um... It's just, it's stuck on this screen of wait for your opponent to finish side decking, which is the screen that I'm on. Like, I still have complete control over everything that I can do. I can type messages, I can do whatever. But my opponent is just sitting in the side decking area, just not doing anything. So, I guess this video is going to get cut short here. So, sucks to suck, but again, this is going to go up in the same day as the other video that also got cut short. So, I guess this works fine enough for that purpose. And, I mean, whatever. I'll try and get a full match to go up for at least the, either later today or tomorrow. But people are just being degenerates, which I can kind of understand. It's a late at night on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, so people just don't want to be dealing with that. But really, it's mermails, though. Like, you, you, you just don't want to deal with that. If you can't deal with a five-year-old deck, then, cool, God help you. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe to all the nonsense you usually do. Subscribe if you're new here and want to see more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, all that stuff. Links, as always, are in the description down below to my Facebook fan page as well as my personal Patreon page. If you enjoy the videos I've been doing as of lately and want to help support my ability to continue creating videos, then Patreon is the best way to do so. As well as it gets you access into monthly giveaways of sizable amounts of Yu-Gi-Oh! product, like something around the price range of a box or something comparable, and also gets you access into my private Discord server where me and a bunch of other people chat on a daily basis about Yu-Gi-Oh! and various other fandoms. So if you're interested in any of that, then definitely go check out the Patreon page and check out the reward tiers over there. And any support you would like to give would be greatly appreciated and you'd have my thanks in advance. But other than that, as always, special thanks to Travis Miller, Iradium, Jay Garcia, Yuki Phoenix, and Troy Perkins, as well as everybody else 
that is currently supporting me over on Patreon this month. You help out a lot more, a lot, lot more than you may know. And you have, as always, my eternal gratitude. But as I've already said, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, take care. I will see you in the next video.